zoombooks.com. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at uh, zoombooks and um, how you can quickly take some surveys to make some money. Uh, let's have a quick look at the platform. So this is the website. I'm just go back to the homepage. Um, it's nice design, really sleek. Um, you've got your basic ways over here to earn. <clears throat> um, offers. Um, which is kind of your more in depth. You need to um, provide more personal information, and a lot of the time, a lot of the times, it's just going to be things that there's no point in doing unless you actually need or want the service. Because um, you are going to be signing up for trial periods, um, handing over credit card details, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know, uh, it's worth doing if you, you know if there's something in particular that you that you need, and they happen to have it on the offer section. If not, I would. Avoid. It's not really the point of these kind of small task, um, you know, quick survey, um, G, um, GPT websites. You more want to kind of just get get on, answer a few surveys, you know, bank some points, do it over a period of time. You know, maybe the build up to Christmas. Maybe you can, you know, bank twenty, thirty, a hundred dollars. You know, a couple of hundred dollars if you're doing it all year. Um, it's definitely possible with Zoom books. Uh, this is just a secondary account I've got, so just, just kind of a sample um, so I can show you. Uh, this is the survey section here. Um, which uh, You've got these survey routers, um, which means you can um, hand over a bit more information and get more personalized um, information, uh, more personalized surveys to answer and um, have probably a better um, chance of earning uh, more money for your time. Um, but with these, um, you, there is a limit on how many you can answer. Some of them are unlimited, for example, this one. And um, I may as well just point out, actually, this poll fish here, I've actually just had a survey. I've actually just paid for a survey for myself to be answered using the poll fish um, website um, for a personal finance um, statistics post, which I'm writing. Um, so just so you can get a taste of how Zoom books, you know, makes its money with these surveys. I've paid poll fish. I've commissioned poll fish to conduct a survey on my behalf. Polefish will then um, kind of subcontract that work out to websites such as Zoombooks. Zoombooks will take a portion of the money that I've paid Polefish for the survey, and then you as a survey answerer will take a portion of that money that Zoombooks has taken from Polefish. So it's sort of a trickle down effect. You know, everyone takes a smaller and smaller slice, um, and that's basically how it works. So this is what I like on the uh, Zoombooks website. You get your um, time to complete here. And you get your um, Zoom books payouts, Zoom books points payouts here as well. Um, so what we can do is uh, let's go for uh, let's just see if we've got anything super short. Um, there we go. Three minutes here. Okay. So what we can do is before we start, it's always worth doing as well. Um, is just seeing what your effective hourly rate for the survey is. Uh, it's always pretty good, uh, but it's nice to know. So. Get 666 Zoom books points here for three minutes. Um, so if we do 66 divided by three, that gives us our per minute. Uh, sorry, let's do 666 divided by a thousand. This is a thousand Zoom books in a dollar, which gives us 67 cents rounded up to two decimal places. Um, a three minutes work divided by three minutes, and then we times that by 60, which gives us an hourly rate of $13. Which isn't too bad. Um, there's some uh, a lot better paying ones. I mean, you want to avoid ones like this. You know, 19 minutes for 652. Um, they do go in order. Um, so obviously, your first page is going to be better. Um, as you can see, if we go here, uh, so we've got 6,800 um, points here. So 6,800. Divided by a thousand is uh, six dollars eighty payout for nine minutes. So divide that by nine minutes times it by sixty to forty five uh, dollar an hour effective rate for that for that survey. Um, anyway, I'm just going to do the three minute one just to show you how the surveys work. You can see I've got a thousand Zoom books banked um, here, and uh, let's just do this quick and easy survey. So you click on your survey, and that just opens up. Um, ready for you to start, you know, uh, just verifies your account. Um, hopefully this won't take too long, computer's going a bit slow. Right, we care about your privacy, uh, so we need to agree to some terms. Uh, duh, 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 and then we can continue. Conditions of the survey. 
it's a really nice way. Uh, okay, right, this one's saying 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. We were told three minutes. Right, let's just agree. Okay, do you or any of your close friends or family work in any of these occupations? Uh, one of my friends is a journalist. So just answer that. Okay, so that survey wasn't a match. That's going to happen um, from time to time, uh, which means okay. So before so so, so I think I think that was just a quick skip directly to survey. I must update the profile. Let's just go. Let's go straight to the survey. Okay, right. Please me to know about that. Yeah. So let's answer these questions here. Right. Please choose if that's fits your situation. Okay. Um, I am self-employed. So let's answer that one there. Uh, full time. Uh, male. Oh. 34 in July. Mm -hmm. You've said you're 33. Yes. Which region do you live? The problem with these surveys, <laughs> they do get quite repetitive. Um, we have, or I have a postgraduate degree. Thank you. Uh, thinking about your idea, employee, please take these elements that this organisation should most definitely have. The order in which you choose one element is not important. Uh, so you want them to be financially healthy, let's say COVID safe, uh, progressive, uh, you may choose as many as you wish. Um, da -da 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 uh, supports good work-life balance. Um, promotes diversity in the workplace. Okay. Thinking about the past year on a scale of one to five, to what extent did your percentage of your employer change based on how they manage the thing? One more negatively. Well, I haven't actually got an employee, but let, let's say more positively. I implemented you know, good COVID-19 safe um, factors into the business. Please select all employers that you've heard of. Uh, I've heard of John Lewis, I've heard of Tesco, I've heard of Walker's Crisps. Um, Armac. You will notice there are a lot of these COVID-19 questions, related questions, so obviously they're trying to gather a lot of information on that. All of the ones that you've heard of, um, like Siemens, Philip Morris, Marks and Sensors, ExxonMobil, Equifax. Please select all employees that you've heard of. Um, EDF, Ministry, Scottish Power, Fidelity Investments. Which of these employees would you be able to work for regardless if you want to take into account size role into Which employees would you be able to work for? You know, taking into account the type of organisation and your skills. Uh, let's just go with these three. Which was on nice and expensive. Right. In order to determine your organization and attract this employee, we would like to know your opinion on employees you've heard of. Interesting question that we've seen. Answer the following questions. Okay. Please rate all the organizations below. One means I would definitely not like to work, and five, I would very much like to work. Okay, so let's just kind of go. I'm just going to kind of go through these here. Obviously, if you're for your own personal account, try and just take a little bit of time to. Um, you will now see a number of statements. Please evaluate each of them. From one to five. One statement is not true. Five. I think the statement is completely true. Okie dokie. Uh, right. Please rate all the ones you've ever seen. Um, is financially healthy or right? they've all got to be healthy. Right? There's no way these major companies aren't going to be 
I'm going to help him. Let's just shove one in. But four. Right, two or five. Here we go. Offers, job, long term security. All of these are pretty much going to, you know, you can kind of tell what they're after, the information that they want. Offers career progression opportunities. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Right. It always takes a little bit longer than it says. <laughs> Cares for the environment and gives back to society. Let's see. We don't really know these. You want to answer truthfully um, as best you can um, because you do get like a, a profile health score, so how you're answering the surveys. Offers the possibility to work remote from home, John Lewis. Well, we don't really know. I'm just trying to do this relatively quickly for the purpose of the video and obviously to, you know, highlight the, the true learning potential of Zoom books. Although it's good with any of these, um, you know, get paid to sites, you are going to be, um, you are going to be um, probably trading more time than you can, than it would be advertised. On a scale of one to five, how are you in your job? Uh, hmm, let's go four. A bit worried, who isn't? Do you feel the COVID pandemic directly that your career progression? No, 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 no. no I still expect you to work within my role. Do you, did you change jobs in the last six months? No. Do you plan to change jobs in the next six months? No. Before completing the rest of the questionnaire, you'd like to ask you to value the points that you know. Uh, factors fosters a pleasant work experience. Okay. Just answer these. It's done. Has a good reputation, right? It's all got a good reputation. Okay. COVID safe. I'm not pretty sure they're all going to be COVID safe. And yes, let's go five five five. In what sector do you work? Did it do manufacturing metal information? Um let's have a look here. Is there um okay let's put yeah. Which following category is best to try your current function? Um let's go manager. Professional hotel, let's go some less from managers. Thank you for your time for thank you very much for suggestions. Okay, so once you've completed the survey, uh, what should happen now is you will get paid through your favourite website. Many new surveys out every day. We'd love to get feedback on your survey completed. Thank you. Uh, and we've got a quality score of 102, which is how they rate you for the um, for the surveys. Now remember, we had a thousand points, and there we go. That's just jumped to 673. So that's boom into the account. Uh, it took a little bit longer. I think it advertised three minutes. I think that took longer. Um, but not that long, um, really. And uh, and obviously we picked a, a lower paying one there, didn't we? Um, 
but you've got on the first page some much um, some much higher paid options. Um, and if you just do a little bit each day, you know, five thousand dollars is uh, sorry, five thousand points. If I just quickly show you on the um, on the payout options. Uh, once you're at where well, you need to be slightly above 5,000 points, there's like a, a small commissions um, charge. So on the PayPal here, if we go to redeem, we're going to take a $5 for 5,150. 5, um, so that's five bucks, you know. Uh, we're already, you know, a third of the way through uh, to, to 5,000 points. You do this over the course of a year, you know, a survey a day, let's say. And by the end of the year, you know you've um, you've paid for your uh, you know you paid for your Christmas works due. Um, maybe put some money towards a holiday. You know it's easy to do, and uh, they pay out. And PayPal option has the best um, conversion rate. Um, you'll notice that they get pretty hefty on. Um, so this is the UK version, but uh, okay. So let's go for Amazon, say for example. Um, so your Amazon for five, well, actually five pounds. So. It's actually higher than oh, that's ten pounds. Let's go. Okay, let's just go for another one. That's dollars. Uh, right, Visa US dollar uh, five one fifty as well. Okay, right. So the reason the conversion rate is slightly higher on the other is because it's in pounds sterling, and the dollar rate um, you actually get more dollars equivalent than the pound. So it's gonna it actually costs a little bit more. But that's it. That's how simple it is. Uh, Six hundred seventy three points. Uh, banked. I could do another couple now. What be fifteen? You know, fifteen minutes. Spend, you know, spend half an hour. If you've got some music in the background, a new album you want to listen to, maybe put it on in the background. Have a listen. You know, do a few surveys. You know how it works. Um, try and you want to try and find a, a, a balance between um, answering them truthfully and doing them quickly. <laughs> That's the key. All right, guys, it's been brilliant. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Zoom books. Um, Leave a comment on the video if you enjoyed it. We can do some uh, more reviews. Um, and thanks very much. Chris from lifeupswing.com. Take care.